Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to episode 46 of RB Plays, FTB's Revelation Pack. That's right, folks, we are back in our modded world. We're doing all the cool modded things. I am your host, RB Plays, on this side of the screen. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. Get notified whenever we put new content up on the channel. So we just finished up a live stream, and in that live stream, we did a whole bunch of uh, advancing in... Uh, <laughs> in Thaumcraft, right? So we've got Essentia being produced here. We've got our Essentia Smeltry, well, the Arcane Alembic, uh, and the uh, Essentia Smeltry right here. Uh, in the interim, in between now and uh, and uh, when the stream ended, I put together a bunch of these valves so that uh, so that we could separate all of the all of the the tubes and all of the uh, void jars and all that. And we're doing pretty well. I think we've got 17 of the 37, no, uh, uh, 18 of the 37 um, uh, jars of Essentia that we're ever going to need. Um, but before we get going too much more in uh, piped Essentia distilling, uh, I want to... Uh, I want to set up a little. I want to. I want to get some progress going in uh, in Thomcraft, right? So let's get into our Thomanomanomanomicon and find out where uh, where we left off, right? So we work. We were working in uh, alchemy. Uh, so we have the Essentia centrifuge here, which is cool. The Essentia centrifuge uh, is an alchemical centrifuge. Um, it's a wonderful invention. When compound Essentia flows into the centrifuge. From below, it will slowly be broken down into its primal compound essentia uh, that it's made from. Only one of the components is created from each point of essentia broken down uh, and so forth. So we've got that. Now we can do some automation, right? So we should be able to make our, uh, our, our mystical construct. And the mystical construct is a cool way of, uh, of creating a few things. Um, creating most specifically... Thaumium and uh, uh, alchemical brass, right? So let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can do this. So we need the mystical uh, mystical construct, right? Whoops, cons uh, mystical. Nope, not mystical. What was it? I made a I made an error. Alchemical. So it is the mystical construct. Yeah. So oh, it's alchemical construct. That's right. Okay. So alchemical construct. Alchemical, I said, hello, alchemical, alchemical construct. That'd be these guys right here. And when you make one, you actually are making two. So we just need a couple of Essentia valves. We need some Essentia tubes. And then we also need some iron plates. So let's get four iron plates going. Uh, again, in the, uh, uh, in the live stream earlier, we set up a few patterns. So we can make iron plates now. One, two, three, four. Four of those, yes, please. Start. Uh, we also need uh, some great wood. Uh, we just need one piece of that, I think. And then we need the the pipes and the and the valves. We should have, so we should be good there. We also need a cauldron. So let's go back to iron. Our plates are done. Uh, we need a cauldron. So let's do that. Give me a cauldron, if you'd be so kind. Yes, please. And then also, we're going to need to go with that some uh, Salus Mundus. So Salus Mundus, check, uh, because we need to turn this cauldron into, or this, uh, this uh, yeah, this cauldron into a, uh, uh, into a crucible. So give me that, yes please. Cool, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, and then we should be able to come over here, and we should be able to go into our alchemical construct this guy and do that and that will give us two of those sweet okay so now is this where i want this to be i'm gonna say that the answer to that is no also we have to be careful because uh, as you can see um the flux in the upper left hand corner there the flux is getting a little bit a uh, little bit out of control here um i'm not not super excited about that. <laughs> uh not super excited about that at all i think i'm gonna put you here so let's go ahead and do this right? So let's put you there, and then you, and then you, and then I think we hit that with Salus Mundus again, right? Salus, that's not how you spell Salus, Salus Mundus, Salus Mundus. I love some of the names of some of this stuff in here. It's so cool. And that, boom, is a mystical construct. Yay. So somehow or another, we have to get uh, stuff into that. Um, 
ideally it would be uh, pipeless, right? And that's what kind of what we're working towards. Um, the al alchemical automation, uh, we should be, oh, mnemonic matrix, what is that? Mnemonic matrix, what is the mnemonic matrix for? Invented an automated device uh, named uh, the Thaumatorium. Uh, the Thaumatorium is a marvelous invention, it allows Thaumaturge to select which formula uses, blah, blah, blah. When I access the device, there are several slots in the top left um, where I have to put the catalyst. Oh, okay. All right. Well, maybe we need that. Maybe we don't. I don't really know. Um, but in order to get to uh, advanced Essentia Transport, which is basically tubeless, we need to get into infusion, right? So, so now that we've got our thaumatorium, I want to be able to take our void jars and pull the Essentia into this guy without having to put pipes in there and, and do all that stuff. And I'm thinking that we might be able to do that. I'm thinking. Uh, but before we do, we're going to need to get into uh, arcane infusion. So a couple of these things I've gotten done, uh, but I have not made a runic matrix yet. So a runic matrix needs either needs some nitor. Uh, we'll just make yellow. And then it also needs uh, arcane stone bricks. Arcane stone bricks, I think I have some of those. So arcane stone bricks. I have four. Sweet. Because uh, we made some arcane stone either in the live stream or in the last episode. I can't remember. Um, but anyway, so nitor, this guy. So to make the nitor, you just need to have uh, some potentia. You need to have ignis and you need to have lux. It looks like 10 of each. So potentia. I have nine. I have nine potentia. Uh, that's great. How much, how can I get potentia? Uh, let's do, let's roll this down here a little bit. Slow your roll. Coal gives me potentia, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep the night away. We'll get some coal. Uh, we can't sleep the night away yet. Uh, so we need 10 of you. Well, actually we just need one because one gives us the 10 that we need. Uh, let's sleep the night away. We gotta get Lux. That should be like two torches, I think. Uh, so Lux. Do I have a lot of Lux? No, I do not, but we do have torches, so give me a torch, please. Uh, the torch should have 10 Lux in it, yeah? Nope, it only has five. Of course it does. Well, that's just great, so give me a torch. Give me one more torch, please, and that will give me the Lux that we need. Uh, I should probably also put you guys back where you go. I was doing some studies of the, uh, of the sky. That's where we got these celestial notes from. Um, need those for for various various things in uh, in uh, the arcane subjects, right? Uh, and then the other other thing that we needed was uh, blah blah blah. So nitor. I want yellow nitor, please. Are you not going to give me yellow nitor? Of course you're not. So nitor. N i t o r. We just need 10 Ignis. So 10 Ignis, what are we gonna get 10 Ignis from? Uh, Ignis, get that from coal too, don't you? Like, what do we get 10? Yeah, we get it from coal also, okay. So you, you give me everything that I need. Oh, that's sweet, okay, cool. Uh, and then we just need a piece of glowstone, right? So glow. The glowstone that produces the niter? It, does, it is. So we need that. Now we come over here, we do this. So you can go in there, and you can go in there, and you can go in there. And now we just have bestia, so quartz. Quartz slivers. We get rid of all that. And there it is, sweet. How are we doing? <laughs> How are we doing on flux? Uh, flux getting worse? Eh, it's getting a little, it's getting a little dodgy. Uh, I gotta, not gonna lie, it's getting a little dodgy. I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit skeptical. Uh, anyway, that's enough of that. So now we just need this guy here, which means we need those there. So that gives us all of that. And we should be ready to make, uh, we should be ready to make this guy. So go ahead and go in here. You give me one, two, three, four of you, plus one of you. And that gives us a runic matrix. Sweet, sweet. Okay, so we can cross that off now, and that unlocks a few other things. So now we can do pedestals, that just needs arcane stone and arcane slabs. We also can make 
the, uh, the mystical construct. So that is, excuse me, that's just eight. That's only eight arcane stone, one pedestal, and the runic matrix, right? So I need to take a look at a picture. I need to find out exactly how many, um, how many pedestals we need. So give me one second. I'm going to look that up real quick. And, well, actually, does this show me? I don't, infusion boosting? No. Does it show me a picture? It does not show me a picture. That's a bummer. Okay. Well, that's fine. All right. So, yeah, give me just a minute. I'm going to see if I can figure out uh, how many pedestals I need. I want to say it's nine altogether because I think you need eight going around the... Uh, eight going around the runic matrix and then one in the runic matrix, but uh, I'll, I'll be back in I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so it looks like we need probably thirteen, uh, probably thirteen pedestals. So pedestal uh, these guys right here. We need several of those. So we're gonna need some uh, arcane stone slabs. We're also gonna need some arcane stone. So let's get that arcane. We have some slabs. We're gonna need more arcane stone. How do we make arcane stone? That is this. We don't have any ordo crystals. We have some ordo crystals here. We're gonna to need to get some more of those, I suspect. Um, so let's do stack there, yeah. Uh, that there, we'll try that and see how that goes. We're gonna need some slabs. So let's do, excuse me, it needs six per. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That should be good, yeah? Uh, plus we got a couple extra here, so that's fine. Uh, so now we can do pedestals, you and you. 13. Sweet. I love it. Uh, plus, we got extra of these. That's cool. So now, I did some clearing. I did some base clearing while I whilst you all were away. And I found this chunk right here, which is where I want to put my uh, infusion altar. So let's go ahead and take this torch. This torch is where I want the thing to be centered. So let's take this torch and replace that with one of those. Uh, then, if I'm not mistaken, we have to do that. Nope. Nope, nobody, nope, nope, nobody, nope. There we go. Uh, we have to do this. There we go. And then we have to do this. Put this on top. And then we can break this out, but we don't have a, <laughs> we don't have an ax or a pick. So let's do this. Get our pick back. Where's my pick? Oh, it's over there. <laughs> I had my pick already. That's fine. It's fine. Uh, and then, according to the book, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, the runic altar, okay, so the runic altar is just this. So give me these. We'll go one there like so, one there like so, one there like so, and one there like so. And then do I use the caster's gauntlet or do I use Salus Mundus? I don't... I think it's Salus Mundus. I'm pretty sure it's Salus Mundus. Does it say? Does it say in the book? I'm notorious for not reading books. Does it say in the book? Once you've gathered, once you have the runic matrix properly placed, no, the future, Salus Mundus. Yes. Okay. See, see, when you read the instructions, stuff becomes clear to you. So that's again, that's not how you spell Salus Mundus. That is, however. How you spell Salus Mundus. So then we can do this, and that becomes that. Sweet. Then we need to take our pedestals, and the uh, and the pedestals. If we go kind of sort of like this, right? So if we come out here like so, we put one of you there, and one of you there, one of you there, one of you there, and then do. It. Yeah, probably one there and one there. Probably one there and there. Probably one there and there. And then one here and one here. 
And that, booyah, that's a runic matrix right there. You gotta love it. Uh, so now we should be able to do some infusion of some stuff, right? And the one thing that I do love to get every time I every time I play with Thomcraft, the one thing that I do is that I do love to get is uh, <laughs> is the boots of the traveler. And we've already done all of the things. We've got all the stuff uh, that we need for boots of the traveler. So let's see what we need. So it says we need a couple of air crystals. It says we need a fish feather, a couple of pieces of enchanted cloth. So the enchanted cloth recipe was what? Uh, enchanted cloth. That's not enchanted fabric. There it is. Enchanted fabric. So that is string and wool. So eight pieces of string and two pieces of wool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of you and wool. A couple of pieces of you. And we can do that over here. So you, and then boom, 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 and boom, boom. Yep, two pieces of that. And then Boots of the Traveler, the other thing that we needed was a fish, a couple of air crystals. Do I have any air crystals? I think I do. Uh, A-E-R, yeah, we do. So we need a couple of you. We need a fish. We should have plenty of fish. We don't have any fish here, but I do know where we do have fish. So let us go back to the base and let us get some fish, right? So go here, go here, and then go here. We have lots of fish this way. Ooh, hey, lag spike. Nice lag spike on the render. If we go down here, as you may or may not recall, we have the industrial fork going fisher down here. We probably should put this into a uh, some kind of storage bus so that we can find it all, but hey, look at all this. And it, it asks for a, puffer, a puffer fish, so we're just gonna go ahead and get a puffer fish. Why not, you know? What else do we need for this guy? Uh, we need you, and you, and you. So we just need a feather, right? And a pair of boots. A pair of boots, a pair of leather boots. I think we can manage that. So let's get a feather and a pair of leather boots and let's do our first uh, infusion, which should be cool, right? Should be very cool. All right, so we need a feather we should have lots of feathers. Uh, feather, yes we do. You can go away. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put you guys away because I don't really need you right now. The levers will come in handy later, possibly, I don't know. Uh, we don't need these arcane slabs anymore, but now we just need some leather. I only have two pieces of leather. Why do I only have two pieces of leather? How can I get more leather? Um, hell dogs in the nether dimension. Uh, rotten flesh. Rotten flesh can be turned into leather, so R-O-T-T-E-N. We have lots, lots of rotten flesh. Let's go turn that into leather, because why not, right? We can do that right down here. How much do we have left? There we go. That's plenty. We're good. We're totally good. So this will be cool. We'll get our first infusion out of the way. And uh, somebody in the live stream, one motto, asked me in the live stream today, dude, when are you going to get going on uh, some draconic evolution? And I think, I think we're close. I think it's about that time to do that. So in the next episode, we'll probably take a little break from Thomcraft, and we'll get into some, uh, we'll get into some draconic evolution stuff, possibly. I think that might be a good idea. This has got to this has got to change, right? This is this is totally in my way. We got to do something different about that. But if we can get to uh, if we can get to the point where we can use this guy a lot easier, like without all these pipes, then I think we're in good shape. All right, so we need to get all of this stuff uh, into our inventory in strategic places. Uh, we need this puffer fish. We need those. We need those. What else do we need? We needed the feather, right? So let's take a look. Ooh, hi. Hi there, lag spike. Why are we getting so many lag spikes here lately? Um, all right, so Boots of the Traveler. It's air, air, fabric, fabric. All right, so let's do air, air, fabric, fabric, feather, puffer fish. 
Yes. Let's put you there, you there, you there. That should be fairly balanced, yeah? Yeah. And then we put the boots in the center. Not the boots with the fur, but the boots in the center. Uh, and then this, and then do this. And, oh, crap, that's not going to work because we don't have the right amount of essentias present. Uh, in order to do this, we gotta have Modus and the feather one, uh, Vitalis, a hundred of each. We've got that one, so give me, uh, give me that. And then we need Modus also. So Modus was down here, there's Modus right there. How much Modus do we have? Oh, we have plenty. We got plenty of Modus, right? So I'm going to put you there, and I'm going to put you there, and then we're going to try this again, right? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So it's going to start pulling in those uh, those items. we got to make sure that none of our items fall off of the pedestals. If they do, we got to put them back. But it should be fairly stable, right? Yeah, it says stable, so that's good. And then, once it's done with that, we should be in good shape. Oh, baby, there it goes. Is it still stable? Yeah, it's still stable. Should be making the boots for us here any second now. Hi, zombie. Hi. You done yet? Yeah, it's going. Uh-oh, that's no good. We don't want that. We don't want that. I think it's going, though. I think it's about done. Did I pick up an item? Yes. There it goes. Hey, it worked. Sweet. So we got our boots of the traveler. Hey, quit it. Ow, quit it. Quit it. Ow, that hurts. Ow. Run away. Run away. <laughs> I should have known trying to do that at night, but hey, it's fine. Let's sleep the night away. We got to get rid of that. Uh, get rid of that void stuff. That flux stuff because that stuff will do major. Hey, you. Hi. Yeah, you need to quit, dude. I'll kick your, I'll kick your tail. Yeah, you're done. I got gotcha. you. Come here, zombie. Hi. You're dead. Yeah, we got to get rid of this stuff. Uh, but I think I want to scan it first, right? And then we'll put our boots on. <gasps> what did I just? Oh no! Oh no! Don't no! Yeah, you're dead. Nothing you can learn from that, huh? Okay. There's a lot of zombies here. Okay, let's get rid of this. That should get rid of that. Get rid of that. There's a lot of zombies. Hi. And they're angry zombies, too. See those eyes? Dude, those are awesome. All right, so now now that we've got this, hey, we've got zombie hearts. Uh, let's see if we can get these blocks back now. I think we're okay now. I got rid of all that uh, got rid of all that flux, but basically what that means is that flux is getting a little bit high in the chunk, uh, a little bit high. Oh, and a peck! We got a peck. There's a peck over there, and you can trade with him if you uh, if he's if he doesn't run away from you. Like if you give him gold. Is it gold, I think it is? Yeah. We need food. Don't run away. Run away from me. Mm. 
I've learned something new about the pack. Hooray. And I think he gave me something, didn't he? Maybe he didn't. I don't know. I don't know. Hi. Oh, hey, yeah, there's... That's cool. <gasps> Ooh, cool. We got native iron clusters. We got an egg. We got a blaze rod. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'll get all of them, I guess. Mm. One more. Oh, crap. Did he get mad at me? No, he did not get mad at me. That's cool. Uh, yes. Let's open this up. Send a bunch of stuff back to our... Back to the base, because why not? Oh, we got a golden apple? Cool. Sweet. He gave us a gold apple. That was very nice of him. Anyway, so that's cool. So we've got our we've got our boots of the traveler now. So we'll put those on, and that should that should do some cool things. I think we can enchant those. Um, it has a V charge, but it doesn't have a V charge. I think we need to do something to to charge those. I'll have to look at that in the uh, interim, in between episodes, and see what I can find. Because sadly, folks, we're out of time. Folks, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments, so make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below. We'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all that good stuff, and we'll chat about it in kind. Also, don't forget to stop by our Discord server where we talk about all things life, all things gaming, and all things Minecraft. Once again, folks, that's going to do it for today. This is the first episode where we're going to go to a three... Um, a three release per week uh, rotation on the channel. Sadly, today, uh, as you are watching this, I have gone back to work and I have to uh, <laughs> I have to concentrate on my full time job now instead of putting out daily uh, Minecraft episodes. And uh, and I'm a little bummed about that, but all good things must at least alter from time to time, right? So starting now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday will be the release days for videos. Hope you guys can stand to wait that long. I know it's going to be difficult for me to wait that long in between episodes because you guys have been great over the last 45, 46 episodes now uh, where, uh, where we've been putting these out every day. But once again, folks, thanks for watching. And until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.